Okay. Here we go. Good morning to you. Let's see. This this video is for what sold this week on eBay for the last uh, week or so of January 2017. It's from the 21st to the 31st, and uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a super good week. I didn't actually I didn't sell that much, but I did sell some things that were interesting for me, and I had some higher higher not super high, but you know a, a few better priced items at, all, at least I think so. Anyway, so uh, I'll just go ahead and get started right away. Here we go. First item we sold is this uh, men's sweater, Banana Republic, and it was 11% cashmere. That's why I bought it because I'd heard people talking about uh, talking about cashmere stuff. So I, I actually paid two and a quarter for it, which was half price at my local Goodwill. I listed it September 28th, sold it January 22nd, and I got $15 free shipping. So next. And this is just a few pieces of uh, some of an Arden slot car set. This actually wasn't slot cars; they were little quads, you know, like you know, quad racers. And uh, but the uh, this just six pieces of track from that set, which I paid two bucks for at uh, my neighbor's closet thrift store, and I listed them on November twelfth, two thousand sixteen. Sold them January twenty second, and I got twenty dollars free shipping. Next. Yeah, Bobby Brooks. This is I. I got this. Um, actually, there was a bag of clothes sitting out here in the front room here, and I started going through it and started listing stuff. And then my wife said that stuff she wanted to list on Poshmark, but I had already listed it. So, and um, so uh, there it is. It's it uh, sold it. Actually, sold it. I we paid fifty cents for it, and I listed it December twenty fifth. Sold it January twenty second. I got seven dollars free shipping. So not a big, not a big guy. Uh, not a big one there, but it it so it shipped pretty quick, pretty pretty cheap. So next, and this is a science fiction book that I got at the niche. It was free. It was in the in the free stuff out front. Well, there was a bunch of them, a bunch of science fiction books. They're all they're all book club editions, but you know there's still some interest in those. So uh, I didn't pay anything for it then, and uh, I listed it November 11th. Sold it January 23rd, and I got 8.99 free shipping for so that's media mail. So next. And this is a, a it's a remote control for a for a Fisher Price toy. It was you know big, big Bigfoot guy that you know moves or he moves around and stuff. And uh, I actually paid I actually paid twenty bucks for the the whole Bigfoot thing because I thought it would sell better. Actually, it would sell you know fifty sixty bucks, but it didn't have the battery charger with it. So and the battery charger they're they're selling the battery battery charger cheaper. I mean, not cheaper, but they're selling the battery charger by itself on eBay. But the the price of the battery charger made it so that it it was it was uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't feasible to to buy a battery charger and then and then sell it. You know, I wouldn't have made any money doing that. So, um, so I'm part. So I just decided to part this out. This is I think this I think this is the second thing I sold. I sold from the, I think the first thing I sold, I sold the battery, the actual battery that went with it. It did work. I mean, it still had some juice in it, even though I didn't have the charger. Speaking of charger, I, uh, I got the charger from the, that I, that I bought for this camera. Uh, so I think I showed it in my last video, the, this camera. Uh, I didn't have a charger for it, so I ordered one. And the guy shipped it super fast and packaged it really well. So I was pretty impressed with that because usually, you know, they, they don't really, they don't really package them too well. And I plugged it in and charged it up, charged up one of the batteries, and it works and it works great. The batteries, it came with two batteries, this camera case. Uh, and so I, and I paid, I think it was actually, actually it had $9.99 on it, but... I think I only paid 35 cents. I think it was clearance out when I bought it. So I got it for like 35 cents, I think. It came with two batteries. It did have a charger with it, but the charger wasn't it wasn't the right one. It was like a uh, like a universal charger, but it, it didn't work. It didn't it didn't work with it. So then I bought that and and the battery's charged up, so and and it works good. So I'm going to I don't know. I'll probably sell the charger with the camera and uh because it, 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 yeah, get it, you get a better price for it. But anyway, so yeah, I sold the Bigfoot thing. And next. And this was, uh, 
This is a Mystery Mansion game I sold at auction. And I got $20 for it. I listed it. I paid 2 bucks for it. I listed it January 8th. I sold it January 24th. So it must have ran through two auctions. And I got 20 it, 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 it sold for $20. The person did pay for it, but they wanted me to ship it to someplace in Rhode Island. And they were out in the Midwest somewhere. And it cost them a lot. It, it was a lot more expensive to ship it. The price they paid for shipping was a lot more than what it was actually going to cost. To ship to Rhode Island, but I did not want to ship it to Rhode Island. To their, apparently they sold one to somebody and didn't have all the parts, so I did not want to ship it to Rhode Island when they didn't change the address on it. So I, I, ref, I refunded their payment, and I, you know, explained to them that I refunded it and that it would be cheaper for them if they changed the address. When they to the ship to address, it would have been cheaper for them in their payment, but they never paid again after that. So, which is what you always you always wonder about. But I I, I just didn't want to ship it to an address that wasn't PayPal. It, it something didn't seem quite right. So uh, I know eBay will cover you, but PayPal will not if you change the address. So uh, you know don't. It's not a lot of money, but it, you know the it would have been. It would have been, you know, thirty bucks. I would have been out. It would have been. I'd have been out. The, I'd have been out the, the whole payment, and then I would have been out the money that I, the money that I spent for shipping, and then I would have been out the game. So it would have been a big loss to me. It would have been a big loss. So I, I just, I, I didn't want to do that. It wasn't worth it to me. So I relisted it. I think I put it up for thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, buy it now. It's still, it's still sitting there. But that's that. So next. Uh, just uh, another one of these Aunt, Aunt Martha's uh, iron-on transfers, and I paid 50 cents at Walmart. Listed it October 29th, 2015. So I've had these a long time, over a year. Sold it January 25th, and I got 5.99 free shipping. Next, and it's just a lot of five REM cassette tapes. Which I paid two dollars and fifty cents for. Listed them on January twenty fifth. Sold them on January twenty fifth, and I got seventeen dollars plus shipping. Next, and no, I did not get one hundred and twenty five dollars for this. It would be nice, but I did not. Um, it, it, it's just a it's just a regular uh, Corning Pyrex mug. I mean, just a regular milk glass kind of looking mug, and it, but it said the Her Harrodsburg Herald. On it, and then it says Corning hits safety goal. I looked up that Harrisburg Herald. I couldn't find anything. Like I don't think it's a real newspaper. I think it's just a. This whole thing is just like a. Maybe just a short run of cups that they had as a giveaway, like for people that worked at Corning or something. But anyway, this is the only one I've ever ever seen. I've never never seen another one of these. So uh, I did list it really high. I paid seventy nine cents for it at Goodwill. Listed it for 125. I listed it on January 19th, sold it on January 25th, and I got $65 free shipping. So I was really happy with that sale. Uh, you know, it was half off, but fish. You, I haven't been making that many sales, so I, I chose the money. Next, and this is just a Vernon camera case. I bought this at the at my neighbor's my neighbor's closet thrift store in Mansfield. And I paid four dollars for the for the case, and, and there was a couple lenses in it, a uh, big long lens and a smaller one, which I have not sold them. I I don't know that much about them. I can't test them, so I, I don't really. They, they don't look like they're foggy or anything inside, and there's no. It doesn't sound like there's anything broken in there, but I don't know enough about them to. So anyway, I bought the case. I basically bought this for the case, and here comes someone. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, we're back. Uh, back. I was just bringing the dogs in from outside. So, yeah. Anyway, I sold this case, and uh, what I, I paid for, I listed it. I actually listed it August seventeenth, and sold it January twenty sixth, and I got twenty dollars for just the case. And I still have the lenses. Oh, it's twenty bucks plus shipping. So, okay. Next, and it's just a little. It's a little cup. Just a little. A little. Little guy. And uh, 
Italian espresso coffee mug, Denisi. I, I got six of these at. I know it was an, it was a it was a Facebook group. Somebody had them up. They had six of them for three dollars, and so I bought them, and I sold them all. They're all sold now. And let's see, this person bought two, so basically I paid a dollar for the two that they bought, and. I listed them June 15th, 2015. I've had them quite a while. And at the first one I sold right away. I mean, so I, I sold it right away and made all my money and, and a lot more. But uh, I sold this January 27th and for the pair I got $23.90 plus shipping for the two, the two pair, for the pair. So that was a good deal for that. So next. And this is a just, it's a two inch hobnail glass candle votive that I sell regularly you see them all the time and I, I let's see uh, I paid 79 cents I listed it October 22nd sold it January 27th and I got $15 free shipping next oh it's going slow there we go uh, World War II time life book and uh, Let's see, I got these for nothing when I cleaned out a house. I listed this November 13th, 2015. I had a whole bunch of these, and I've only got like maybe five left. But uh, sold it January 28th, and I got $10 plus shipping. So, Time Life, World War II. Next. And this is a set of chessmen. Probably, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking 1960s maybe from that box. But they're wooden there, and they're real nice. There was no, there was nothing broken on them. They 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 were solid. So this is a nice set. Somebody else sold these for like seventeen something, and and uh, I think somebody else had them cheaper when I looked it up. But so I listed them for nineteen ninety five. And let's see, I paid two bucks for them at the Goodwill. I listed them January twenty seventh, and I sold them January 29th. I got nineteen dollars and ten cents. But they went to England, so they paid shipping. They paid shipping to England. I sent them. I sent them to England. So um, I don't know why they offered nineteen dollars and ten cents, but they did. So I'm as happy. I was happy with that. I took that. Took that offer and I sent them overseas. So next, I had these. I've had these bowls for a long time. They're real little. They're little. Just little, little berry bowls. They're not. They're not very big. They say genuine melamine on the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I bought like uh, I bought like a whole stack of them for one price. So they were like twenty. They're like ten cents a piece. And this listing, I sold actually sold two of them in this listing. I've only sold four. I had originally I had forty of them, and I've only sold four. And I've had them listed a long time. Uh, it's just one of those things I took a I took a I took a chance on. So I listed. I actually listed these in July of 2015 so they've been up a long 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 time and I sold these two on January 29th and I got four dollars and fifty cents plus shipping so making a little bit not, not a lot but I made a little bit it'd be nice you know it'd be nice if if somebody would come in and buy oh I don't know say uh, ten of them you know what I mean or twelve of them or something like that and yeah, that that'd work out pretty good so all right next Welch's jelly glass it's got a little stegosaurus on no blue stegosaurus on there and uh, let's see that's uh, I paid 79 cents at the Goodwill and I listed it December 6th sold it January 29th and I got nine dollars 98 cents free shipping goes first class uh, about six ounces so next and this is this is uh I had this guy for a he's sit around for a long time I for I I'm not sure where did I get this. I don't remember. I think I got him at a clean out. Pretty sure I got him at a clean out. But he had a little bit of paint loss down there on his tie, and you can see on his nose there a little bit. But he looked really sharp. And there were some other ones up that were priced a lot cheaper, but they're also they had damage and they had more paint loss. So uh, somebody made me an offer. It was kind of low. They said I was too too expensive, and they compared it to other people, and I went and checked the other listings on it and I told them you know the other people actually have theirs overpriced because they're damaged they're chipped and stuff so uh, I off I told them I'd sell mine for uh, 
fifty dollars and he accepted and see I listed it I had it listed a long time I listed it uh, August 22nd 2015 sold it January 29th so um, but I took 50 bucks for it and super packaged it um, both pieces the top and the bottom I put in different pack in different boxes and bubble wrapped and um, packing peanuts all around them and then I put them into another box and packing peanuts all around that so they they got there safe and sound so that was a good deal uh, I, was, I was happy he was happy uh, it's a little green dog okay well are you gonna work let's just see are you it sounds like it's working I had a problem with my microphone quit working so I kept shutting off screencast matic I don't know why but anyway, so I think we're finished with this with this green dog. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next thing. It's this Starbucks mug. I had this for quite a while. Uh, it's from Sydney, like I was Sydney, Australia, and uh, I paid seventy nine cents at Goodwill. Listed it on September first. Sold it January thirtieth, and I got fourteen dollars and one cent plus shipping. I don't know why it was 1401, but it was. So, okay, next. And these are some outdoor post lights. They, you know, they. I guess you'd put them in like a uh, those lights that people have, like those black, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the back black post lights or whatever. So, yeah, post light bulbs. There it is. So, anyway, yeah, uh, let's see. There was 10 of them. I paid 10 bucks for, for all of them. And the list, let's see, yeah. Uh, I listed them August 14th, sold them January 30th for $60 plus shipping. And the fellow that bought them when he got them said well, uh, one of them, one of them was broken. Now, I, I put them in a plastic poly bag and it was tight so they couldn't shake around in there and then I put what do you call it uh peanuts peanuts around all around the outside packed it in there tight so there wasn't any movement inside so he said one of them was broken so he just wanted uh, refunded for just one so uh, I did the refund on on, on the just one it, it's possible that one of them may have been broken I checked them all when I bought them but one of them may have broken somewhere along the line, uh, either here and I didn't notice when I shipped them, or in shipping one of them. It, you know, it, stuff vibrates. You know, vibration. It's they're just glass. You know, vibration can do a lot, a lot of damage. So even if it's not moving very much, there's still a vibration in the trucks. You know, that kind of stuff, and that can, that can break. So, all right, that that was that. So anyway, next. And uh, Isaac Asimov's Library of the Universe. I bought a bunch of these. I think they were at the they were at the niche, and I probably got them in a bag sale. It, it, I got it, ones for all all the planets, basically, you know, all the different planets and stuff. And so I didn't pay anything. I actually, actually, I didn't pay anything for them. So I don't know where I got them at. But anyway, uh, I listed them a long time ago. To, yeah. Well. October 23rd 2015 but you know about those things that I listed in October of 2015 it was a, a sell similar from a previous point in time so I sold this one on it's the first one of them I've sold I haven't sold any of them until this one sold it on January 30th and I got I got ten dollars plus shipping so it's just one of those things I tried next and this is a, a the battery cover for the Bigfoot, that that Bigfoot toy that I was telling you about, and so basically, I, like I said, I paid twenty dollars for the Bigfoot. With this sale, I've I've made forty dollars on that Bigfoot. Well, I've grossed forty dollars on the Bigfoot. So, I've, and and there was free shipping as well. So it was first class. The only thing I have left now is the Bigfoot himself, and I don't. I'll probably end up. I hate to hate to say, probably end up trashing him, but I'll probably end up trashing him. So there's no point in there's no point in donating to somebody because 
Okay, he doesn't. I, I sold off his other parts. So, anyway, yep, next. And another one of these, uh, the hobnail candle votives. This one, I paid a quarter for this one. And I listed this <coughs> March 23rd, 2016. Sold it January 30th of this year. And I got $15 free shipping for this one as well. So, next are these little tiki light little head these I got these at uh, at the Goodwill for a uh, buck ninety nine and uh, I I just picked them I thought they were neat and they were cheap so I listed them August twenty fifth sold them January twenty thirty first I got ten dollars so not that hot but they're, they're pretty neat looking so I just got them because they're neat so and let's see next last thing I sold this of January was this uh replacement insert for the for the uh the kill zone in a buck for an as a, it's an archery target so uh i bought a bunch of these at at walmart they were they were 15 bucks a piece i bought four of them and i thought sure that uh they would sell pretty quickly and they didn't this is the only one i've only sold one i've had them now since uh, July 4th. Uh, yeah, well, I listed it July 4th. I think I listed it right around when I got it. So, and sold this January 31st. And I got $30 for it plus, uh, plus shipping. So, all together, all together, I sold my gross was $471. And after the refund, it was uh, $451 what I, what I made. And everything all together cost $87. So I didn't I didn't do that great. And not not too not too not too great on stuff. So uh January turned out being a pretty weak weak month. But that was it. So I'm all done with January now. I got all I'm all caught up with January now. I can get started on I got a couple weeks on Feb with February to get caught up on uh what sold and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get going, take off. You have a great day. Keep listening. See you later.